This is what my day is supposed to look like. Organized, disciplined, productive, and if I were any old productivity YouTuber, I'd make a video that shows you how perfect my life is and how cool it is to be me, a content creator. What's up, you guys? I just finished my 54-step, 17-hour CEO morning routine, and now it's time to go back to bed. But in reality, I'm just a guy who's trying my best out here. My name's Amir, and I'm a music school dropout. Here's what a day in my life actually looks like. My days usually start anywhere between 9 a.m. and 10 a.m., depending on how much I feel like a potato that day. But regardless of my potato-ness, I always try to get some form of a morning routine in. Now as for morning routines, I've tried them all. Meditation, yoga, journaling, exercise, reading, lemon water, cold showers, affirmations. Stable. I am mentally stable. I am mentally stable. I am mentally stable. But at the end of the day, it doesn't matter what you do, as long as it works for you. For me, I like starting off my days with a variation of a sun salutation to get my energy moving, followed by a brief moment of gratitude for my life. I then get in some small productive wins by making my bed, doing my business, and doing my skincare. I then wrap it up with a short meditation or an Eckhart Tolle video as I eat breakfast. You know what they say, an Eckhart Tolle video day keeps the unconsciousness away. After that, I pack my bags and head to work. I usually get to work a little after 11 a.m. My main gig is working as a creative director and vocal coach at Studio Cloud 30, a boutique talent development agency here in Vancouver. I teach voice, help artists write and record songs, and do some light audio engineering as well. Man, I am so passionate about teaching. I just love this so much. There's nothing like seeing a student's face light up when they get a breakthrough with something that they've been struggling with or working really hard for. And I think another reason why I enjoy this so much is that personalization. It's all about understanding their goals, understanding them. It's all about empathy and I love that. And while I teach music, I also incorporate elements of personal development and psychology in. So it's like, yes, you're learning how to sing, but at the same time, you're growing as a human being, at least. That's what I hope my clients are getting. And if you'd like me to talk more about how I became a vocal coach, please let me know in the comments below and I will be sure to answer all of your questions. I usually wrap up teaching at 7 p.m., by which time I'll eat dinner and rest up for a little bit before getting back to work on some personal projects like YouTube or song releases. And by rest up, I mean losing track of time watching very important YouTube videos. Hey, so I said I was gonna get work done, but I found this really, really important video. When Bongo Cat only knows four notes, I need to watch it. Alternatively, if I'm not at Studio Cloud 30, then I'm either working from home, at a cafe, or, like today, in a recording studio. So we just arrived here at the studio. Guess who I just parked beside? Hi! <laughs> Hi. Yeah, I am. Okay, fine. Yeah, exactly. I've been helping my friend Audrey record her debut album, and it's been so much fun. Fun. I just love collaborating with other musicians who just get you and just vibe immediately. It's something COVID has definitely taught me to appreciate. <laughs> now I get home at a different time every day, but no matter what, I always make sure to intentionally transition. This is a practice I learned from the book High Performance Habits by Brendan Burchard called Release Tension, Set Intention. All right, so a transition is any point in time between a different location or two different activities. For example, there's work to home, home to the gym, gym to running errands, running errands to meeting a friend. Before any new activity or any new location or any new meeting, take some time to just let go of whatever tension that you're carrying in your body. So you'll just sit here and just focus on your breathing and just letting go of any tension that you're holding in your shoulders and your jaw and even mental tension, if there's anything that didn't go right that day, just actively letting that go. Once that's let go, then you're thinking of, okay, what kind of intention do I want to have for this next activity or this next location? What kind of person do I want to be? So that's what I'm gonna do right now. Once I get settled, it's time for a workout. Ever since the pandemic started, I've started doing at-home bodyweight workouts, and thankfully, there are so many YouTube videos that you can follow along to. 
Right now, I'm doing Bully Juice's 30 day challenge. And hopefully one day, this skinny boy can also get gains. All right, workout done. I'm gonna go get some dinner and then work on editing the YouTube video. Now, whether I'm at home or at work, I'm trying to get better at setting boundaries for myself. When you're a dropout and your own boss, you can just keep on working and working and working. Nobody's gonna stop you. And full disclosure, I am really bad at this, like the worst at this, like Fergie national anthem bad. <laughs> and there's also no in between. I'm either full productive or I'm full potato. That being said, I've been working on it and getting better at it. Nowadays, I'll go for a walk around the block, or if I'm feeling really tired, I'll take a nap. Tonight, there happened to be a beautiful sunset, so I went out to the park to catch it. Hi, so I basically looked out the window, saw that the sunset was amazing, and just pink, purple, and beautiful, so I decided to run out here to the park to take a look, and my god, did it not disappoint. Check this out, yo. moments like this that keep me afloat. Moments for enjoying the beauty of life. The fullness of simply being. Once the sun sets, it's time to decompress. This is when I get to do all the non-work related things that bring me joy. I spend time with loved ones, cook a tasty meal, or read a good book. To be honest with you though, I'm usually just calling my girlfriend until she falls asleep on yeah. FaceTime. I'm using fear to make yeah. decisions. Ah, uh, leave me again. I'm sleeping again. Once Annie's asleep, I'll do some journaling, some light Tai Chi, and set my intentions for the next day. After that, it's lights out. Now, if you had asked 2019 Amir what he thought about my life right now, he would probably say that I'm way too lazy, that I'm not working hard enough, and that I'm not sacrificing enough to become quote unquote successful. But if you're doing what you love every day, surrounded by people who love and uplift you, and you're content with what you have, who's to say you're not successful already? Would more money, more fame, more achievements be nice? Perhaps, but at the end of the day, I don't really need it. Because to me, a successful life is a present life. <laughs>